Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Force Feed for this Wednesday, May 9th. In today's gaming news, Dragon's Dogma will feature a massive worldwide boss fight, Serious Sam HD Legend of the Beast DLC announced, Wolfenstein 3D goes free to play on browsers and iOS, and Bioshock Infinite gets delayed. A new video for Dragon's Dogma showcases the game's asynchronous co-op boss fight. The Ur Dragon event in Dragon's Dogma will require the efforts of players from around the world. Every player will be able to fight the dragon in their own game, with any damage dealt being added to the cumulative depletion of its health. The player who lands a killing blow will receive the maximum reward, but anyone who does damage in the encounter will also be granted items. Dragon's Dogma is coming to the PS3 and 360 later this month. Serious Sam HD 2nd Edition will be getting some new content next Tuesday. Today, Crow Team announced the Legend of the Beast DLC pack for Serious Sam HD The Second Encounter. The pack adds three new campaign missions along with six new maps for the game's multiplayer modes. Legend of the Beast will be available on May 15th for $4.99. It's a little odd that they're releasing content for Serious Sam HD 2nd Edition, as opposed to their more recently released Serious Sam 3, but at the same time, I guess it's a good thing. Crow Team is supporting older titles, and not many game companies do that. In celebration of its 20th year anniversary, Wolfenstein 3D is now available to play for free. Id Software has made the game available for free on web browsers and iOS devices. To play the game on your browser, head over to the official website, link available below, or you can grab the iOS version of the game on iTunes, which will be free just for today. It really is amazing how far we've come in 20 years, and I can only imagine what things are going to look like in another 20. Bioshock Infinite was originally planned for release later this year. Take-Two announced today that the game has been delayed. Bioshock Infinite is now planned for release on February 26, 2013. Of the delay, Irrational Games creative director Ken Levine said, When we announced the release date of Bioshock Infinite in March, we felt pretty good about the timing. Since then, we've uncovered opportunities to make Infinite into something even more extraordinary. Therefore, to give our talented team the time it needs to deliver the best Infinite possible, we've decided to move the game's release to February. It was also stated that the game will be going dark until we get closer to the release. Personally, I'm getting kind of tired of game companies announcing games only to delay them. How about you guys? All right, guys. Guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of the Force Feed. Be sure to like and favorite the video and tune in tomorrow for another episode. Once again, this has been Force, and you've just been Force Fed. 20 years from now, I bet games' graphics are going to look like real life. Well, you know, if you had a more exciting life like me, you wouldn't have to play so many games. <laughs> hey, Hillbilly, shut up. <laughs>